Hello everybody, and welcome back to Mystery Case Files Black Crown Collector's Edition, where I do believe that we are going to finish the main game in this episode. Oops, sorry, I hit my mic. I feel like we're really, really close to the end. So, um, yeah, let's just go ahead and get right back in it. Then. Um, I don't know, I don't know how long this will be. If it's super, super, super short, I may just tag it on to the end of the last video, but I don't know. We'll see. So these endings tend to be... What? Oh, I see. Fly! Go away! Why is there a fly in my room? It goes down, that goes down, that goes down, that goes down. Okay, there we go. Okay, that wasn't that hard. The next one is there, then there. So we did that one. The next one is there, then there. That wasn't that hard. Okay. Oh, I kind of like this puzzle. This is definitely like a very big... Oh. I don't like this puzzle no more. That wasn't too difficult. Um, not one of these. I got worried there for a second. Okay. You guys ready? Let's place the crown on the statue and see what will happen. Oh, oh, they just have rotating statues. Oh, that actually went out. Ooh, 
boy. Still laughing. And there's the end of Mystery Case Files Black Crown Collector's Edition. That's the one problem I have with the Collector's Edition games, or I mean the Mystery Case File games or any Big Fish games, is that the ending is all of a sudden, and normally the bonus chapter doesn't fix the all of a suddenness of the end of the game. <laughs> But overall, I like that. Um, it took me a while to get through. Like, I mean, a long while since its release. But that's okay. Uh, we will look over any bonus features, too. Before we go into the um, bonus section that I can look at, at least. Um, and honestly, that's probably going to be it for today. Because I want to get up at a pretty early time tomorrow. And it's already 3.43, so I need to go to bed. Fairly, fairly soon. Uh, if I want to get up in enough time to do what I want to do. So, I'm uh, glad I finished it. So, there's probably only like two or three more parts left, uh, including the bonus chapter. So, we're not done with the game. There is a bonus chapter. Um, but I won't be starting that in this video, most likely. And it is kind of impressive that these games, because I believe they use, like, some of the characters are facial base. Like, they have people with, like, mocap suits. I think. Um. That was weird. It just kind of popped out of the game. Even though I wasn't touching anything, which is weird. But, Epic's creating worlds, I would say that's too. I mean, they create some pretty good worlds, but I also don't think that they, like, no one does a really good job at storytelling. In, uh, not that I don't like these games, but the stories end up being, you know, like, like the original Mystery Case Files 13th Skull had more storytelling than this one did, if that makes sense. Most of the newer games end on such an abrupt note. I still enjoy them, but they end so abruptly. And we also haven't had a Mystery Case File game in a while now. Um, Crossfade was the last one. We wish to thank you, the player, for accompanying us on the journey. You have very navigated the waters, blah, 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 blah. You have reached the end of this adventure. Something or another that went by. I guess I could have paused it. I didn't think about that, though. Well done, you have completed the game and now can access the extra content. So first, achievements. What do I got? Find a bug in the main menu. Aha! Well... Got that. Reset a minigame. I don't think I'll get this one. I, I almost have all of them. Fucked all the hidden crabs. So let's see. So let's go to the address. I will bonus chapter. Morphing crab souvenirs don't unlock. The art is unlocked. Well, that's not unlocked. See, there's only two things in the bonus chapter there, which is not a lot. So it's probably pretty short. Oh, that's such a good wallpaper. But I don't think it's super relevant. Nor is that really that relevant, is it? That's relevant. That'd be perfect for this video.
off. Almost a decade ago, I was helping a family find their missing father in the swamps of Louisiana, but I learned the family was using me to find a long-lost treasure of the infamous pirate Phineas Crown, also known as the Black Crown. Crown Crown's ghost attached and the whole family drowned, I was the sole survivor. After the attack, I had to reboard the sunken ship to stop Crown's vengeful ghost. I found his treasure inside and I used the 13 skulls of the crew members he betrayed to defeat him. At least that's what I thought until his name was mentioned again in Manchester Asylum. Everything at the asylum was just as eerie as my last visit. After I managed to get the attention of the head nurse, she welcomed me but quickly left to find the doctor. It looked like she was overwhelmed with work. Never a good thing at a place like this. While waiting for the nurse to return, I found a file for the old patient at the center of my investigation. She's an unidentified young girl with severe mental disorders and almost no success, successful pro progress with her treatment. She had some connection to a crown, but I don't know what it could be. The doctor gave me some paperwork to sign and took me to cell 11 to meet the girl. She was communicating with cryptic gestures and wouldn't let me in until I did what she asked. I eventually figured out that she needed drugs and yawns from other patients. Once I found the drawing, she allowed me to enter her cell. The walls in cell 11 were covered with strange writings. The girl was not very responsive to me at first, but she started talking after she noticed a strange pocket watch. Together, we deciphered the symbols on the walls. We figured out how to open the pocket watch and found a message inside. The girl reacted strangely to the note and quickly became uncooperative again. That's when the doctor came back and politely asked me to leave. That was okay, as I had a new clue to follow. I left my home, but the curse remains there. When the Crone, Crown family re rejoins it after my death together, they will bring me back to life. I knew that my next stop was the Crown Estate. On my way to the Crown Estate, now a nautical and piracy heritage site, my car malfunctioned, the brakes stopped working, and the power cut out. I tried to roll to a safe stop, but I noticed a postcard stuck in my windshield wiper. It distracted me, and I crashed. When I woke up, the car was hanging over a cliff. I managed to grab the postcard, and it was a warning that my car had been sabotaged. Why did why did I receive this warning? I didn't have much time to think about it, as I had to jump out of the car before it fell over the cliff. I'll miss that car. On the bright side, it was a short walk to the Crown Estate. Next, I had to get inside the estate. The museum was supposed to be closed, but the lights were on. I was surprised to find the doctor and nurse from the asylum. They explained that the power went out at the asylum after I left, and the patients rioted. The patients kidnapped the girl from cell 11, they look, they're looking for a crown inside the estate, and the doctor and the nurse came to find them before someone gets hurt. With the situation rapidly getting out of control, the only option was to find the crown in the hopes that it would help everyone settle down. The good news is I found the crown, the bad news, well, everything else. Phineas' Phineas crown's ghost was possessing the girl from the asylum all along, and he commanded the patients to come to his estate to resurrect him. The girl and her followers attacked me and stole the crown to make matters worse. The girl is Mangolia Lawson. It was her parents who died during my old case and she blames me for it. Now Phineas and his new crew are on a quest to rule the seas again. Thankfully, I was saved by the good doctor at the la last moment. Now we need to find the nurse and get to safety. We finally made some progress. The estate was swarming with possessed patients, but we escaped through the Sally Port tunnels. However, we heard the nurses' pleas for help over the doctor's radio. We need to find her fast. I found evidence that the nurse was chased through the maze. The doctor rushed into the maze, but I got help from Admiral Snuggles, which is my name for the dog at the gate. It didn't take long to find the way out, but there was... Sorry, no sign of the doctor. I needed to find the nurse first, as it seems she was in more immediate danger. While I was exploring, I stumbled upon one of the patients. He, his location gave me a hint about where I might find the nurse. While I was exploring, I stumbled upon one of the patients. His location gave me a hint about where I find my nurse. Why are they both the same? I figured out that the patients were looking for particular constellations, a crown, and the tribe. The doctor finally found a way through the maze and saw the telescope move, so he came to the obs observatory. We agreed that he and the nurse would leave the castle premises while I checked the house once more. 
After another search of the house, I managed to use the clues from the observa observatory to reveal the mystery behind the strange fireplace. It's a hidden door to a hidden passageway underneath the house. I wonder where it leads. Whatever I find inside, I hope it will lead me closer to finding Mongolia and stopping Phineas. The secret passage led to a spiral staircase leading down. Everything was pitch black. I had to light up an oil duct so I could see where I was going. I drained the water from the pool at the bottom of the stairs and found another secret passage. I entered the passage and unexpectedly found myself in the middle of an old pirate cove with a giant ship hanging from chains above the water. This must have been Phineas's base of operations before he left for America. That's all left. That's all. That, all that's left now is to find him, stop him, resurrect the girl. Or wait, what? Res rescue the girl, resurrect the girl. Jeez. Before I could explore more, I was met by Phineas and his minions. They were waiting for me, and they had captured the doctor and nurse with their safety on the line. They didn't catch the doctor and the nurse. Phineas offered me a deal I couldn't refuse. He wanted me to free a ship. He agreed to free the hostages and all. Allow us. Leave in safety if I released his ship from the chains. After exploring the caves a bit, I found a large wheel which was connected to the chains holding the ship. It was broken, so I had to find a way to make it work again. I got the wheel working again, but it was so old that it broke apart when I started it. On the bright side, I got the ship free. To everyone's surprise, Phineas held up his end of the bargain to free the doctor and the nurse, but offered one last deal before sailing away with his crew. The deal was to find his missing cutlass in exchange for Mongolia. I accepted that girl has suffered enough, and I wasn't ready to leave her behind. Time to find his missing sword. After all, if it fell out of the ship, it can't be far, right? Of course, the sword was completely broken, and pieces were scattered around the cave. Caves, it almost felt like someone wanted to hide it, but why? With the sword repaired, all I had to do was bring it to the ship's treasury. The nurse, doctor, and I will take Mongolia and leave this cursed place. Cursed place. I'll deal with Phineas some other day. I should have known better. I was fooled by the doctor and nurse who have been in league with Phineas from the beginning. They deceived me every step of the way, and now they put on masks just like the rest of his minions. I was fooled into willingly signing a contract to serve as crew member, meaning I can't leave the ship or I might get possessed as well. Oh, so that's why we didn't leave the ship. My only hope of escaping this cursed ship is to sink it, which means I need to explore it and find a weakness I can exploit. There's a way to stop Phineas. Like the rest of his ghostly crew, he is bound to the ship. The ship is held together by black magic, which I can break if I return the cursed black crown to the priestesses who cursed Phineas. In all his wisdom and arrogance, Phineas placed the priestess remains inside, of, inside the figurehead. I need to defeat him and take the crown from him. The cursed voodoo doll made by the mutineers will do the trick. I just need to find all the needles and use them on the doll to make him believe he is hurt. No matter what if what it takes, this is now my goal. If all the needles gathered, I need to challenge Phineas with the voodoo doll. I hope I rattled him enough to give me the upper hand. With Phineas temporarily immobilized, I can take his crown and return it to the priestess. If everything goes to plan, Phineas and his crew will sink to the bottom of the sea where they belong, which is where they did go. And there's music. Which there is. Anyway. So we are not done yet. Not by a long shot. Well... Yes, by a long shot. We only have a couple videos left. But um, I read through most of that. Hopefully I can remember where I left off. In the next video, we are going to tackle the bonus edition. Uh, the bonus game. Uh, the bonus chapter. Which we will go ahead and play in the future. And also, if you are interested in these games, um, I highly recommend you check them out on Steam. I'm going to be honest with you here. I have this on Big Fish Games, and I got a lot of free games from Big Fish Games, so that's why I'm, I have most of them on here. But Big Fish actually has a bit more steep prices than Steam does, and they put them on Steam. Um, the price that you get with the, what is it called, um, like the Game Club membership, like $15 for a game, is about what new games cost when they put them on Steam. So I'd highly recommend checking out the games on Steam, seeing if they're on sale, or seeing if 
cheaper because um, it doesn't say bonus edition in the title of them, but every game on Steam is the bonus edition version of the games. So, technically the standard versions are only available on Big Fish, which I guess is kind of smart, because that way people, if they want the standard versions, want to pay less, have to go to Big Fish to get them, but... Anyway, um, I'm just saying, check them out on Steam. Highly recommend. Anyway, that's going to do it for this video, so thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you in the next video. Goodbye!